Hi everyone, I'm Mary Scarpati and thank you for watching another video with me. Today I'm doing a what I eat in a day video plus like a kind of follow me around uh, for the day. I already got my workout in. I've been doing the Country Heat on Beachbody On Demand. I really like Beachbody On Demand. I've had it for now almost two years and I just really like it because I don't have to go anywhere and I can work out. And they have like varying degrees of challenges. So like when I was getting ready for my wedding, I did like harder workouts. And then since I've been pregnant, I am doing very like easy breezy and I've been loving country heat. It's like honestly, it's so easy to me and just like challenging enough that I feel like I moved my body and got a workout in, but not like anything that I feel like, oh my gosh, I did too much. Then after that, I showered, got myself together for the day, and then I took my dog on a nice little walk this morning, and now it's time for breakfast. I did eat a piece of baby bell cheese because I have um, three autoimmune diseases, so I take steroids, and you're not supposed to eat those on an empty stomach, so I had a baby bell cheese with my steroid. <laughs> And um, now I'm just making myself a cup of decaf coffee and then something quick to eat because I actually have to work. And then I have an acupuncture appointment. So I'm actually really excited about it. I've never done acupuncture before. If you have, let me know. I'm trying to do as much preventative care um, for this pregnancy so that postpartum, hopefully my, my idea is if I like, you know, take care of my body now while I'm pregnant, my postpartum recovery will be easier. TBD, I don't know, I've never been pregnant before, but I have a friend that has gone to see this acupuncturist and she went all throughout her first pregnancy and she said it was such a game changer. She believes it's the reason she didn't have pain um, had, and had like a decent physical recovery postpartum. So I'm gonna try it and we'll see. I did my acupuncture appointment and I highly highly recommend it um, I found it really beneficial I already feel like a lot more relaxed and grounded so I'm glad I tried it out on my way back so normally I eat um, breakfast at 6 which I did and then I have I have breakfast at like 6 in the morning I think I had it at 7 and then I eat like my lunch at 10 but it's 1 o'clock right now and the only thing I had was a piece of baby bell cheese like on my way back because I knew I brought a snack so that I wouldn't like starve to death just because of the timing of the appointment it was like a 9 30 appointment I didn't want to have to make food and I wasn't that hungry but I knew I would be so anyway on my way back from there I was like starving to the point of like could not think of anything else but eating I went to Jason's deli I haven't actually eaten my food yet but I got the grilled cheese and tomato soup combo. I don't know about you guys, and this is might be a random pregnancy craving, but around my lady time before even I was pregnant, I always crave cheese, and I feel like since I've been pregnant, I crave cheese. So I'd be curious to hear what your cravings are. It seems to be, for me, cheese and milkshakes, which really healthy. I'm just killing the health game, but I'd love to hear what you guys are craving if you were pregnant um, or what you crave during your lady time if you want to share that I don't know if that's like TMI but I don't know I'm a very open person um, but I'm gonna show you my food I also got a Diet Coke full transparency I try not to drink Diet Coke but I like my first trimester I didn't drink any and now I just allow myself like a diet, like one Diet Coke a week sometimes two if I'm really feeling indulgent but I you know obviously don't think that is healthy or recommend it for anyone. It's just, I'm letting you know what I eat today. This is an easy way to add protein throughout your week. All you need to do is add chicken breast to the crock pot, a packet of taco seasoning, a packet of ranch seasoning, 
a jar of salsa and then you put it on low for five hours in the crock pot and then once it's been cooking for a while you shred it and then you add cream cheese and turn the heat off and then just stir it through and it is so delicious i put this on burritos i put it in wraps i make salads tonight i did a salad i just put the chicken in a bowl some romaine on top then primal kitchen ranch dressing and then i added cheddar cheese and then i crunched up some tortilla chips it was so good after lunch i ended up working really late and not getting what I wanted to get done done as far as foods concerned. I was gonna make this I was gonna make this enchilada soup, but honestly, it wasn't possible. And it was I was like starving by six o'clock and just needed to throw something together. I already made the beginning of the week in the crock pot chicken with salsa, cream cheese, taco seasoning, and ranch seasoning and just wanted it to like throw in wraps for the week or salads or like whatever just to have like an extra protein that i can throw together in a pinch because i find with meal planning and like you know crazy weeks you just sometimes don't have time to make dinner that ended up coming in handy tonight i decided to make a little salad for myself with the chicken that i had made then some romaine lettuce some um primal kitchen ranch dressing some cheddar cheese and then topped it with some tortilla chips that i like crushed up over the salad for an extra added salty crunch and it was so good it was like the best thing ever i was starving but it also tasted amazing i really really love like salads like that where it's just a lot of flavor and crunchy and salty and all the good things um so i very much enjoyed my dinner it's 6 41 now so i just finished eating i was gonna film before but i honestly was just too hungry to wait it was this has definitely not been like a normal day. I feel like normally I'm on a pretty good schedule, but because I had the acupuncture appointment, it just kind of like threw off everything. Like I had to work later. I just had a ton of meetings packed in my afternoons. So far, me and baby are happily fed. I think I'll show you my bump right now. And I think I might have dessert because I've just been craving dessert. I've been very indulgent with myself recently and I'm just, you know, letting it go. I'm, I'm letting myself do what I want honoring my cravings as i would say so i'm gonna go get a mirror shot of the bump so you guys can see it i feel really large but i'm only 20 weeks so i'm like assuming that i will start feeling like a lot bigger five months from now but or four months from now but right now it's like i feel very large so <laughs> I can't imagine what that'll be like. Thankfully, I can still get around. Like, I don't have trouble, like, moving around and I'm able to exercise. I just... <sighs> Finding clothes that, like, work right now has been a little bit of a challenge. And I actually was thinking about making a haul of the maternity shorts. Like, I got a bunch of maternity bottoms. And it's funny because when I first got them from Old Navy, I, I tried them on and I thought already thought I was, like, so so I had such a bump and that was like a week. It's crazy how fast my bump has been growing. Like I went from having a flat stomach at like 17 weeks to 18 weeks. Like my stomach just popped. It was nuts. Like I went from having, I'm telling you, a flat stomach to a popped tummy at 18 weeks. And I can't really explain it other than the fact that I started getting an appetite again. And now i'm just like wow i don't even know what happened so anyway at that time nothing was really fitting anymore i couldn't wear my old pants so i ordered like all these bottoms from old navy but they were huge on me and i was like really upset and now everything fits like perfectly fine so that's how quickly i've my stomach has grown in such a short period of time which might be why i feel so much bigger than i probably actually am um but anyway on to the bump okay so this is what the bump looks like from the front um a very growing bump nuts like honestly i'm so shaken about this i feel like i don't know i'm like wow i'm so full on 
pregnant. Um, and then this is what it looks like from the side. So baby is growing and kicking and moving quite a bit. And I definitely do get pains on the sides of my stomach because it seems like my belly's growing out more than on the sides, which, you know, whatever the bump's gonna look like, it's gonna look like. Um, but it's been really interesting and then I'm wearing my old knee shorts that I got, maternity shorts. And I do have to say, I really like the band. Over my stomach, it's very comfortable. It's the end of the night and I did not have dessert because I got way too full from dinner and just honestly, extremely sleepy. So I am going to go to bed. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. I make a lot of cooking videos and lifestyle videos and videos on faith and just life lessons that I've learned. And anything that is feeling exciting or new in my life, I like to try to document. So if you're interested in watching more or you have suggestions on things you'd like to see or questions you have, then please feel free to write it in the comments below. Please subscribe and stick around and be my friend and like this video if you liked it because it basically just lets YouTube know that not only is this a video worth watching, but they should maybe expose other people to it. And if you know someone that might like this video, please share it with them. The more the merrier. <laughs> Thanks so much and have a great day. Bye.